They came to get rid of the underbrush. I think it's just a beautiful program. But in the process, they also cleared a way into the hearts of the community. They're so adorable. To watch the babies interact with the uh, moms over there, so cute. You know, it's just good for the soul. You know, people are bringing their kids here and they're learning a lot about goats and what they do for the environment. Despite the thorough job the goats have done, the program is in jeopardy. After six were attacked by a dog, three adults and three young goats have been removed and remain in a vet's care. Some are severely injured. The dog was seen on this security camera, but with such a substantial fence guarding the animals, there are questions about how the dog got inside and if a person helped to facilitate it. And I, I've had goats on my property with coyotes, coy wolves, and feral dogs, and I've never had an instance where the goats were, were interfered with any way. Mike Wusty is the goat's Absolutely. owner is heading up the program. It's hard for him to even get the words out when he thinks about the attack. What we want everyone to, to realize is that, that these goats were not just a part of our family, but they became a... They've become a part of the community. Now police and the SPCA are investigating to see if there's more than nature behind the attack. Now the goats are still here at this point, but they tell us they'll be gone by the end of the day. Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.